Dua kandidat calon wakil presiden Amerika Serikat Tim Kaine dan Mike Pence mengikuti debat di Longwood University, Virginia. Informasi selengkapnya akan disampaikan oleh Eric Himawan. Eric, silakan. Terima kasih Kevin Egan. Pemirsa saat ini calon wakil presiden Amerika Serikat 2016 Mike Pence dan Kaine untuk pertama kalinya dihadapkan dalam debat calon wakil presiden Amerika. Debat kali ini dipandu presenter berita Elaine Quijano. Kane sebagai pasangan dari Hillary Clinton mendapatkan giliran pertama untuk menjawab pertanyaan mengenai kesiapannya untuk memimpin negara jika dalam keadaan darurat. Kane menegaskan hal utama baginya berperan sebagai tangan kanan dari Hillary Clinton. Berbeda dengan Kane yang cenderung lebih mengedepankan mengenai kepercayaannya terhadap Hillary, pasangan dari Donald Trump, Pence, menegaskan ia siap untuk memimpin Amerika Serikat dalam keadaan darurat. Pence meyakinkan dirinya dapat memimpin dengan baik walaupun dengan tanggung jawab yang berat. Ya pemirsa, sementara itu dua kandidat calon wakil presiden Amerika Serikat, Tim Kane dan Mike Pence mengikuti debat di Longwood University, Virginia. Tim Kane selaku cawapres Hillary langsung memuji pasangannya. Sementara Mike Pence mempertanyakan kemampuan Hillary Clinton dalam memimpin Amerika. At a time of great challenge in the life of this nation, where we've, we've weakened America's place in the world, stifled America's economy, the campaign of Hillary Clinton and Tim Kaine has been an avalanche of insults. Look, to get to, get to your question about trustworthiness, Donald Trump has built a business through hard times and through good times. He's brought an extraordinary business acumen. He's employed tens of thousands of people in this country. And, and paid a few taxes and lost a, a billion a dollars reputation. a year. But and why then, the disconnect with your running mates? But there's a, there's a reason why people question the trustworthiness of Hillary Clinton, and that's because they're paying attention. I mean, the reality is when she was Secretary of State, Senator, come on. She, she had a Clinton Foundation accepting contributions from foreign governments. You, and you foreign are Donald Trump, uh, Trump supremacist. Uh, uh, let, let me talk about this Senator, issue. I think, of the, of I think the state I'm still on my time. Well, I think, are, isn't this a discussion? This is our yeah. open discussion. Let, let's talk well, about the, well, the state uh, let me, of the let, let, you you, let me interrupt you no. and finish my sentence if I can. Finish the Clinton Foundation accepted foreign contributions from foreign governments and foreign donors while she was secretary okay of State. now i can wait she had a private now, now, server I, I get to weigh in that now, was let me just discovered say I did he, he Senator, keep that pay-to-play uh, process you have an opportunity Gov governor, pence, reach governor pence doesn't think the world's going so well and he you know is going to say it's everybody's do fault. you um let me tell you this when hillary clinton became secretary of state governor pence do you know that osama bin laden was alive yes do you know that we had 175,000 troops deployed in the battlefield in iraq and afghanistan Stand. Do you know that Iran was racing toward a nuclear weapon and Russia was expanding its stockpile? Under Secretary Clinton's leadership, she was part of the national team, public safety team, that went after and revived the dormant hunt against bin Laden and wiped him off the face of the earth. She worked to deal with the Russians to reduce their chemical weapons stockpile. She worked a tough negotiation with nations around the world to eliminate the Iranian nuclear weapons program without firing a to shot. Eliminate the Iranian nuclear At, weapons program. Absolutely, without firing a shot. And instead of 175,000 American troops deployed overseas, we now have 15,000. Right. And uh, these we, are very, very. And Iraq has been overrun by ISIS because well, Hillary you, Clinton you failed to renegotiate. More, more American troops Hillary in Iraq, Clinton, you can, Hillary you can Clinton, propose that. Hillary Clinton failed to renegotiate a status of forces agreement. No, that is incorrect. Gentlemen, and so we remove, we remove all of our troops from Iraq, and ISIS like was able to be conjured up in that vacuum but, but I'd like to and overrun vast areas Governor, of Iraq. President Bush said we would leave Iraq at the end of 2011. Ya pemirsa sementara itu masalah perekonomian juga menjadi bahasan panas kedua calon wakil presiden. Mereka diminta untuk menjelaskan rencana ekonomi terutama peningkatan hutang Amerika. Soal pajak dan saat ini juga beberapa kandidat juga dimintai keterangannya. The New York Times not too long ago, he used what's called net operating loss. We have a tax code, Senator, that actually is designed to encourage entrepreneurship. But why won't country. he release his tax return? Well, we're answering the question about, about uh, the business thing. Is he, I, I do his, want to come his back tax on this, His tax return that, that showed <clears throat> he went through a very difficult time 
but he used the tax code just the way it's supposed to be used, and he did it brilliantly. How do you know he that? He created you haven't seen a runway because he's created a business that's worth billions of dollars today. How do you know that? And with regard to paying taxes, this whole riff about not paying taxes and people saying he didn't pay taxes for years, Donald Trump has created tens of thousands of jobs, and he's paid payroll Elaine, taxes, let me talk sales about taxes, uh, Senator, I'm going to give you about 30 taxes. seconds to the respond, and I have a question on Hillary social security. Clinton is going to raise taxes, and Donald Trump and I are going to cut them. Donald Trump started this campaign in 2014. He said, if I run for president, I will absolutely release my taxes. He's broken, his first, he he's broken his first promise. Second, he stood on he the stage last week. He, 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 he stood on the stage last week, and when Hillary said, you haven't been paying taxes, he said, that makes me smart. So it's smart not to pay for our military. It's smart not to pay for veterans. It's smart not to pay for teachers. And I guess all of us who do pay for those things, I guess we're stupid. And the last thing I'll say Senator, is this. Senator, do you take the, all the, last the deductions thing, that you're entitled the, to? The last thing I want to ask Governor Pence is I do. Governor Pence had to give Donald Trump his tax returns to show he was qualified to be vice president. Donald Trump must give the American public his tax returns to show that he's qualified to be president, uh, uh, and he's yeah. breaking his promise. Elaine, I have to respond to this. You get I mean, very yeah, little time. I'll, I'll, be, 20 I'll, seconds. Be, I'll be very respectful. Governor. Look, Donald Trump has filed over 100 pages of financial disclosure, which is what the law requires. But he said he and would release his tax returns. The American people can review that, and he's going, Senator, All right, he's going to release his I tax need to returns ask you about the audit social security. is over. R Richard, the Richard the Nixon released about, tax returns when he was under audit. They're going to raise your Gentlemen, if you can't meet the Nixon standard, the people standard, at home cannot understand some... either one of you <laughs> when you speak over each other. I would please ask you to wait until it is that the other is finished. Ya, pemirsa demikian berita-berita seputar debat calon wakil presiden Amerika Serikat. Siapa, eh, semoga siapa saja yang menang nanti dipastikan akan memimpin uh, negara Amerika Serikat menjadi lebih baik. Demikian laporan kami langsung dari DPR Jakarta Selatan. Kita kembali ke studio. Kevin.